Hey guys, I'm back today with another video. I'm going to be doing my September book haul. And it's not as big as last month's, but it's pretty good size. And I have the room for it now. I finally have my bigger bookshelf. And if you haven't seen that video, I will link it down below. So go check it out. And so let's get started. The first book I'm going to be showing you. A few weeks ago, we went to the park. And there is a little free library at that park. And during the summer, I was taking like full-size tote bags filled with kids books and baby books and I just stuck them all in there and so and the same little free library that I went to they were all gone and new books so I'm glad that little children are getting the chance to read those books and so the one I picked up excuse me is One for the Money by Janet Ivanovich Ivanovich I know this is a movie with Katherine Heigl and I love her and I've never seen the movie but I want to after I read this book and I know there's a bunch more books in this series like 23 or 24 and so I want to start with this one and if I like it I will hopefully find the other ones at that little free library Another one that I found that I've been wanting to read myself and to my kids is The Little Prince. I have never read this book. Don't throw things at me. Uh, I've never read this book and I've never seen the movies. But this is a must read for the, before the end of this year. The next one is a cartoon character that I used to love growing up. I used to watch it every day after school around 3 30, 4 o'clock on PBS. And that is Arthur. It's Arthur and the Scare Your Pants Off Club. Who does not love Arthur and Baxter? I forgot her name. But yeah. This is one of the shows that I used to love to watch when I was in third and fourth grade, along with Wishbone and Reading Rainbow and Zoom. Who remembers Zoom and those shows? Comment. And the last book, or no, I got two more books that I got from a little free library. Hotel for Dogs by Lois Duncan. We have the movie and we love the movie. And so, and the last one is a classic, I believe. It's A Sicilian Romance by Anne Radcliffe. And I'm trying to read more classics. I've read one classic this year, and that was Les Mis. Loved it. Surprisingly, I'm loving classics, and I n was never into classics in high school. And the next stack is books that I got from Goodreads Wins. I've won more books this month, but I've only received three. So, and the first one I'm going to be showing you is what I unboxed, An Enchantment of Ravens by Margaret Rogerson. So pretty. And I'm hoping to read this either this month or November just because ravens and the brown gold yellow colors oh hello light make, uh, remind me make me think of fall and so so pretty and the next one is a arc of the quiet child by John Burley. I have no idea what this is about, but it's set in the 1950s in California. And it's about a boy, a six year old boy who's strange and mute, and he's regarded as a 
fearful and superstitious child to the townspeople. That's what I just read. So, this should be good. And it came out last month. No, August 2017. So. And then the next book I won, I'm super excited about. It is David Bowie, A Life by Dylan Jones. I love David Bowie. And the last three books I'm going to show you is another little free library that I forgot to show because it's a kids book of a blogging for books review copy and a freebie from Kellogg's Family Rewards. So the one the children's book from the little free library is Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. Who remembers reading this when they were a kid? And the movies are awesome. I love part two and the little strawberry and there's a leak in the boat. So cute. Okay. And the blogging for books review copy that I got is The Windfall by Diksha Basu. I will be doing a book talk or a little book review on this this week. Because I want to talk about it. And so. And it's. It was okay. It wasn't my favorite, but I enjoyed most of it. And then the last book I'm going to show y'all is, it's alright, and it is Captain Underpants and the Revolting Revenge of the Radioactive Robo Boxers. And I got this from Kellogg's Family Rewards, and it's my hardback. It's my first hardback from Kellogg's Family Rewards. And even Casey was surprised that we got a hardcover. So, yeah. This is my stack of books. Ugh. Look at that. Oh my god. So there was my book haul for September. I hope you enjoyed it. I will be having my book talk for the one fall up either before the weekend or Saturday. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be doing any more vlogs before the weekend. We're going to have a lot going on this weekend that will be interesting. We're going to be getting our front uh, door tiling fixed and I want to paint my bookshelf so I can get my stack of books out of my closet and yeah so if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see y'all next time bye